hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am sharing uh, my dining room with you guys i know the last time i did my dining room it was i did a really simple design because it was like we were here and i was still figuring it out so i just had a dining table and my chairs and an artwork on the wall and that was pretty much all i did at that time because I wasn't willing you know when you move into a space and you're not willing to invest in it it was that kind of feel but anywho we are here now still and i wanted to just update it a little bit give it a little bit of a homey more homier feel i guess and i wanted to just make it fit with the space that we're living in to be honest let's start with my crazy of cycle shall we this is the hutch that i got i absolutely love it and the reason why i got this one i got it off of facebook marketplace the reason i got this particular one was so, because it was half glass and half wood and the reason why i wanted wood at the bottom was because it would be so close to my dining table so i wanted to be able to if you push your chair and you accidentally hit it it would be perfectly fine um the first thing that i did was i took out these half rounds that were at the top face of the hutch and obviously it comes in two so i brought the other half down and i sanded it um i really made sure that i sand i cleaned it before i showed it to you guys before it even went into the house it was cleaned so i sanded it cleaned it again and then i went over it with zenzer primer in my spray gun and i sprayed two coats of the primer i wanted to make sure that it was nice and covered because i really wanted this to be durable so i wanted to cover it twice This is the color that I am using. It is called Black Magic by Bear. I love how subtle this color is and it fits the space so well. And I am so sorry I forgot to film this. Um, I just got carried away with painting it because I think at the end of the day I was so tired. And then I did one, two coats of paint and one coat of polyurethane just to seal it. I was super excited to get it, this into my space. And yeah, the day I, I left it for two days to dry. So I got a rug from Home Goods, which I am putting on the floor. I bought something that was also subtle because I didn't want it to clash too much with the floor as well. And then it was time to bring the hutch in. I absolutely love how this hutch turned out. I really wanted you guys to, well, I will let you guys see just how beautiful this thing is. I added brass knobs that I got from Home Goods and also added legs that I got from Amazon. I wanted this hutch to be as high as the door because I wanted it to kind of sit at the same length because to me this was it made it visually intentional. I think that was a look that I was going for. I didn't want it to kind of look out of place. After five days of dealing with this hutch, can you see my happy dance? I was super happy to make to, for this to be done. Okay. Okay, so these are all the things that I have kind of curated to decorate my hutch with. I just wanted to keep it, as you can see, the same kind of color scheme, keeping it gold and black. And instead of like really, really white, I'm going for like an off-white, creamish type of color and texture and uh, just different shapes and interest. To me, this is how you decorate a space like this. You want to keep it interesting and give it texture and yeah and color um and because mine is completely black i'm trying to use color to kind of offset the black even though i'm using some black items in here i still need to kind of put them on top of like white stuff so that you can actually see it otherwise it just kind of disappears into the hutch okay so let's start i am gonna put my like the square things in first i kind of want to do it that way because for me it makes sense um, and I'm doing this, this is super easy actually, if you want to decorate your hutch this way, it's super easy. Uh, if you have a space like this, like a glass thing that is or a display cabinet like this, it's so easy to do it this way. So I'm going to start with this one at the bottom here. I'm putting this at the base because it's bigger and I just want to kind of fill up this space at the base. So that goes there. And then for my books, I'm using these two I am going to put here. Oh, I'm going to turn it around. 
So those two will go there. And then I am going to do these two maybe here. And then this one um, maybe underneath here. Or this one in the center. Yeah, that makes sense to me now. So as you can see, I skip a bit and put that there and then I spread it out. So it, the square makes sense, as you can see. Okay, so now let's do like secular things. So we'll start with this one. I'm gonna put this one in the middle and yeah, I'm including some greenery, but in this form, I've just got some of these mosphiers that I'm using in here. So I'm gonna put that there. I absolutely love this um, vessel, this bowl. I love it. It's from, it's like a planter. It's from uh, Walmart. And I know they still carry it there because I've seen them now. Um, they're still in Walmart, but it's absolutely beautiful. They have this one and they have a smaller one. So I'm going to leave that there. This is a beautiful find from uh, Home Goods. I bought it in the fall. I absolutely love this. So I'm just going to offset that either way. I think I'm going to put it here. So you see what I'm doing, kind of offsetting it to a circle, circle, and then my last circle, I'm going to put it here. Okay. Oh, that's not my last. I've got this gorgeous bowl. It goes everywhere with me. This, this is from England. I got this from Donelm. It was green and I spray painted it uh, white. So I am going to use that here. Put that there. It gives it height also. But to kind of really bump up this height right here, I'm going to use my tiny little bumblebill. This is from Matalan in England. Um, I love that. But anything gold will work. So I'm going to sit it right up top there. And then where do we go from here? I think I want to fill up this space here. So, and I want it with something that really stands out. So I am using this. I got this from Home Goods as well. So I am going to use that right on top of here so you can see it has all the colors the brown from like the, the tan leather from there kind of works with the book and that tray from uh, uh, Target and I love this box as well and then just something small up here because I think it is a bit too full so I'm going to use this little sphere and, um, and I'll add it there I love that there like that okay and then just to kind of sit with the same shape, I'm going to use this and I will put it here by itself just because I don't want to clutter this space too much. I don't want to really clutter that space a lot. And then I can never do anything without my birds. And to bring in a lot more gold into this space, I am going to sit them on top of this book if it will fit. Please fit. Oh, it does. Okay, so I'm going to sit it there. Okay. And I think that works. That works. So I've got one thing out, but I'm not going to use that. Um, sometimes restrained is the name of the game. You know, know when to stop. It helps. I absolutely love it the way it looks. I mean, you can still see the black, but if I close it, you know, you can still see like the stuff that I've put in it. It gives it a better feel. For this dining table, I am just going to keep it really simple. But I say simple, but see what I've got. <laughs> I absolutely love this. I picked them up from Home Goods. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love them. I got two, by the way. So this is the other one. They are two different heights. I just, oh, I just, I die. I love them too much. I did beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They are, I don't even know what brand they are. It doesn't really say at the bottom of it. But they look like they are heavy, but as you can see, they're super light, but they're beautiful. I absolutely love them. I love the texture of it. I love the colors in it. It's just a statement piece all in itself. I mean, you can decide to style this by having maybe just one and then putting something in it. I hate when a vase is this small, a vessel's mouth is this small. I'm not a fan of actually putting anything in it unless you're just putting in like one spray to spread it out, which is something that I could do. Just one branch in there and then kind of make it go all the way hang on let's try that shall we i got this it is from hobby lobby i love it because it, it's winter so i'm trying to just keep it really simple 
not too much fuss. So I'm gonna try this. I don't know whether to put it in the big one or the small one. I think the big one. Let's try it in the big one. I think the big one will be better. And I'm kind of just angling it so it sits and spreads because I want it to spread this way without causing too much. And I like this because it doesn't take away that much from, um, it doesn't interfere with the arch at the back that we just did. So, this thing is all about kind of bending it to make it work the way you want it to. Oh, this is gorgeous. Thank you all so so much for watching i really appreciate you stopping by if you are new please do not forget to subscribe i create great content for upcycling as you can see in this video and a lot of home decor stuff and great ideas so if you are interested in that type of stuff i would really ap appreciate it if you would subscribe and i will see you in the next one guys bye Headlights